I recently saw on Instagram a Japanese tennis coach performing trick shots that Manzur Barami would be jealous of. This stuff is so incomprehensible. He does a backwards serve. He does a reverse forehand top spin, a reverse backhand top spin. This stuff is so insane. And in fact, during the tournament in Indian Wells, Tennis TV showed footage of this Japanese tennis coach to ATP players, for example, Taylor Fritz. And these players were trying to copy the backward serve and not a single one of them could do it so I went in and studied his serve and I figured it out so the way I always did a reverse tennis serve basically putting your back towards your opponent facing the back fence would be the following way I would toss the ball behind me I would open the racket face and I would serve like that basically hitting the ball with the other side of the racket now this is not what the Japanese tennis coach does This serve is far more difficult to pull off. Now, I never tried it, and I'm gonna try it here for the first time. But what I saw in the footage was the following thing. He tosses the ball behind himself. In other words, into the court because he's facing the other way. He bends his wrist forward a little bit, and he hits the ball with this side of the racket. So he's basically hitting a reverse topspin serve. He throws the ball behind his head. He hits it with this side of the racket, and it follows through towards the front. And without me going in and looking at the mechanics of the serve, there's absolutely no way that I could have any chance of pulling the serve off simply because he was hitting it quite fast and you couldn't really see how he was hitting the ball. So this is just another example of why video analysis is so important in a game of tennis. Now I have a good understanding of this shot and my chances of pulling the shot off have increased tremendously. So let me try this out. I'm going to try to toss the ball behind me and I'm going to hit the ball with this side of the racket. I'm going to try to bend my wrist forward a little bit. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Let me try it again. Okay, getting a little bit closer. Almost got it. Let me try it again. There it is. Now he made it look a lot cooler because he wasn't looking on the other side. He was looking at the contact, of course, because you can't hit the surf blindly, but he would glance at the contact and then turn his head back over to this side. So let me try to make this surf look a little bit cooler by not looking where the ball is going and just looking at the contact. So there it is guys, the reverse serve, a fun serve to hit, but a lot of you guys are going to go out and you're going to waste your time by doing the reverse serve. No, spend your time doing the regular serve, but a big takeaway from today's video is the following thing. Without doing video analysis and looking at the mechanics of this particular serve, there would have been no way that I could pull this serve off just like the pro players at Indian Wells. They had no idea how the serve worked and not a single one of them could pull it off. So video analysis is super important to understand mechanics and to improve your tennis game.